Uh, season getting underway Wednesday. Uh, what is that like for this uh, for you? You know, taking over a, a new program like this and, and talk about the excitement. I think it's a good. I think it's a big night. Um, our our players have uh, put a lot of hard work in over the last couple of weeks. We know um, it's uh, it's an opportunity for us to, uh, as a team, get get on the field together and uh, and take on uh, another uh, college program. So we're excited. Uh, talking to the, the boys, some of your boys that came over from Hartwick, and you had four of them come over. I asked them, you know, whether it was a no-brainer to come here, and they said, yeah, they they thought they had to do it, uh, both scholastically and you know what you guys do on the field and off the field here at Syracuse. Uh, what was that like for you to bring those guys over? So I had nothing to do with the coach then. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that was, thanks a lot. No, uh, um, <laughs> the good guys, first off. Um, they realise what uh, my philosophy is and, and where we you know, what we, how we believe the game should be played with the right work ethic. They've uh, been successful uh, in and out of the uh, classroom, um, but they also knew that that means nothing when they step on the field and when they've come into pre-season. It's about being part of a, a different team. That, that's in the past and uh, and now being part of a, a Syracuse program and reinventing themselves and. Uh, uh, and proving to everyone that they should be on the field. They, they certainly won't be playing just because they played in one of my previous teams. Uh, what, there were eight returners, is that right? Uh, some of the guys were talking about how they were surprised at the amount of talent that's here. You know, they kind of considered this year you know, maybe a transitional year, but now they're looking at the talent saying, we can win games and, and we can compete in this conference. Well, it's, it's always tough um, when you know, individuals outside the program, uh, you know, they've talked to our guys and said, you know, we won three games last year, we graduated our six or eight best players, uh, it's a rebuilding year, and it, that's difficult for any student athlete uh, to hear. And that's great, that's, uh, you know, I, I'm not looking for our returning players to, uh, to accept that, and I'm certainly, uh, I think that our new guys have uh, something about them, that they'll be looking to uh, establish themselves uh, quickly. Now, we understand there's going to be a period of adaptation and uh, a little bit of patience. We're, we're very, very new. Uh, there's going to be a lot of players playing their first collegiate games on Wednesday. There's uh, a lot of players that will be playing their first Syracuse game uh, on Wednesday. So, we understand that the patient uh, will be necessary, but uh, ultimately, it's a 90-minute soccer game and, uh, and we're excited to, uh, to get after it. Well, what is this program ultimately capable of? Uh, you know, th this year, you know, notwithstanding, you know, you're, you kind of see what you're able to deal with here in this program and be able to lure players here. What, what do you think ultimately this, this program, can, what are the expectations, I guess I should say? Well, I, I think it's, uh, it's important to realize that there's no short, uh, shortcuts. It's a, it, it's a slow process. We can take it step by step. But we have some very lofty goals uh, for the Syracuse program. And, uh, I believe that uh, Dr. Gross's uh, passion and enthusiasm is contagious and uh, we believe that this is uh, an exciting time for Syracuse Athletics. And, uh, during my first week here, Coach Gate came over and you know, nicely said that we're the only team not winning around here, so hopefully uh, we can change that uh, over the years ahead. And, and finally, uh, well, I asked the kids uh, what, was, what was the main trait that you brought over? What's the main characteristic of a team coached by you? And they talked about your attention to detail. What do you think has been consistent with the teams that you have coached, um, if anything? <laughs> I would hope that you know, ultimately you would like any, uh, any team to represent your coaching staff. And I think we have a, a, a passionate coaching staff that uh, uh, looks to prepare our team. Uh, we're a different sport that you know, when the whistle blows, it's about the guys out there. There's no timeouts. Uh, we can't stop the, the game and, uh, and correct it. Um, so we're looking for hopefully players that can solve problems. So our job is Monday to Friday and then uh, the guys uh, turn it on on a Saturday or, a, or this Wednesday. Uh, we realize that you know, there's a Justin Bieber concert going on, but hopefully we'll turn our own show on on uh, Wednesday night and we'll get some people out to watch us play. Even you know about Justin Bieber. You must oh, and Leighton, uh, you know, it's, uh, it was devastating that it changed to a Wednesday, but uh, hopefully, um, you know, even if my guys uh, have the sniffles and a cold, we won't be cancelling anything and uh, we will have a show on uh, here on Wednesday night. Uh, beautiful. Thanks for taking the time.